welcome back to the Midwest Sports Show. The best, the hey, the best half hour of, of the there you go. of the week. Some people like to claim that they're the best hour of the week. Um, I think this is the best half hour of there the week. Go. Actually, Robert Kraft may have gotten the best half hour of the week. Right. Chain, can yeah. you can you put the camera a little bit? Your face. Put your face kind of in the middle of the uh, on the yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Centered up. All right. So this is the Midwest Sports Show. My name is Chris Hatz, and via satellite. Yeah. On location a, from Wrigley I, Field West, I like to call Wrigleyville West, is uh, Gene Steichen. Gene, how are you doing? You can good. You can see some of my cub stuff. There's my cub poster. Good I have lord. A lot of cub stuff here. You. There's, um, Gene, you remember in uh, uh, Silence of the Lambs, where uh, yes. Bill, Bill, like what made um, dresses out of people's skin? <laughs> yeah, you look like you could make uh, dresses out of cubs' paraphernalia, and I pennants know, and a, whatnot. I know. I I I have a whole wall dedicated to the 2016 World Series. So wow, I have the wall. I'm getting it ready for the 2019 World Series. So. Gene, uh, you're gonna need a new apartment, Gene. I know, I know. <laughs> well, all right. I'm gonna well, have to ask my neighbors to move out so I can take yeah. over. I'm gonna have to knock down your wall, sir. And uh, the Cubs want another pennant, so I'm gonna have to uh, dedicate oh, a whole room to this. I'm a little worried because the way the Dodgers forget the division, which is gonna be tough enough, but the way the Dodgers are going, that might be tricky. Well, Gene, we've seen it time and again. We're the number one team. Doesn't look like right. the number one team, and uh, who knows? A lot of stuff happens in August, Gene, where uh, people cool off, cool down, and it's tough to get back into that series. But Gene, I think we're getting way ahead of ourselves. Oh, are we? Okay, my bad. Sorry, I'll go. I'll step back. Uh, but this is uh the dog days of summer. Basketball is finished. Yeah. And all we have to do to talk about these days is the NL Central of the Major League right. Baseball. But Giannis, so, oh, that's probably on your list, but Giannis, right? Yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah, basketball belongs at the very bottom. So yeah. we'll talk about that. Um, all right, so, Gene, why are we doing this remote show? Cause you... Because I'm three miles away. I'm, I'm, a, I'm three miles from you, but I'm only about uh, a block from the Hollywood Bowl, and that's where I'll be tonight, where Hootie and the Blowfish are getting back together. I've been there a lot lately. Is this, like, the first Last time? Yeah, this is their first time in ten years wow. they're back together. Wow. And last night last night I was there for Santana who yeah, recreating their fiftieth <laughs> anniversary of Gene, and Doobie Brothers. Who the original singers back. Who knew back wow. in the sixties that all these bands yeah. would be able to resurrect their careers and go yeah. to these baby boomers. I know I won't call classify you as a baby boomer, but uh get, basically get paid twice. By the baby yeah, boomers. And, and they have a lot of young people, too, but a lot of old-timers. But Doobie Brothers, they've been around since 1970, and, and Santana has been since the 60s. And he showed uh, the footage of him playing at Woodstock uh, compared to him now. But it was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Let's just say his fingers guys, his fingers are a little happened? slower these days, right? Yeah. Band, oh, he sounded great. Don't say anything bad. Do they, do they play the Hollywood Bowl like back in the day, back in the 70s? I bet they did, yeah. right? All of them, and Doobie Brothers did too. Yeah, that was Beatles played the Hollywood Bowl in the '60s. Oh yeah, this is a great thing. Yeah, and uh, uh, the the thing is, uh, the the bands when they, as they get, as they get older, they just team up with another band from way back yeah. when, and then they well, that gee, way they can you can't do a yeah. two hour set when you're 70 years old, right? I mean that, that's tough. Yeah. I mean Carlos, it, yeah. unless you're Mick Jagger, I guess he's he's jumping around. Yeah. All over the place. Well, Gene, this is not. Uh, well, by the way, I, I got a couple of Hootie and the Blowfish uh, jokes. Not really, not jokes, but uh, Gene, uh, I, you know, for our younger audience, we have a lot of young fans that listen yes. to the show, and yeah. uh, they may not remember these millennials. They may not remember, uh, but sometime in the early, maybe it was mid '90s, there was no bigger band for like one summer for maybe one or two years than Hootie and the Blowfish. Uh, this is the twenty. This is another reason they're back together. It's the twenty-fifth anniversary of Rear Crack View, wow. which was a huge album. Yeah, yep. remember he, uh, he he was a big sports fan, and there's like one music video where he's just playing sports with a bunch of like athletes, 
and Chris Berman is like narrating it or something. Remember that? Yeah, he does. Uh, he's on. He does. Uh, he goes on ESPN. He's a. He is a big sports guy. Yeah, yep, absolutely. He's in Florida, right? Isn't there a video of him with Dan Marino? Uh, I think he's from South. Oh, he might be. I, right. I, they live in. No, they were formed in South Carolina. Oh, okay. But I don't know originally. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was Florida. The, and, then... they, and they're teaming up with the bare naked ladies, who I know very little about. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't even know they were still around, or I didn't know they were around in the first well, place. Really. Did, did someone get them some clothes? For God's sakes. <laughs> well, yeah. Hey, <laughs> I mean, they, they, have they heard of Ross Dress for Less, Gene? Have you... I maybe they they might have needed a better band because there are tickets available tonight. Carlo Santana was sold out, but not tonight. Yeah. Oh, then I saw Andrea Bocelli last week, and that was amazing. He sold out as well. Mm-hmm. He did two nights, and he even had Jamie Foxx on stage with he's him an, singing. He's an, a, I did a highway. He's an opera guy or something like that. He sings yeah. opera. Blind okay. opera singer. All right. No. Opera singer. Big feature yeah. in that, right? What was? I mean, he wasn't singing in English, right? He was singing like an Italian or something. He did, he did. He did sing mostly Italian, but then he did. I did it my way with Jamie Fox, and he did. Uh, he did a couple. I know it's yeah. very odd. Parent. Did they hang he out and shoot way. hoops afterwards after the show, no. or what? <laughs> I don't know. They seem to get along pretty well. Did 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 so. Jamie Foxx do any Ray Charles impressions? He only did that song, but he was good. He's done a pretty. I mean, that's that's tough competition going with Andrea Bocelli. But yeah. no, he sounded good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All he, right. No Ray Charles. And then you know, Gina, all this '90s nostalgia, this '90s band nostalgia. You, you got yeah. Hootie. You got the. By the way, what's going to happen when Hootie dies? Are they just going to have? Uh, Snooty and the Blowfish, like someone take his place or what? These guys, they don't quit. They, they'll just, they'll, they, these guys in these bands, they'll just replace one guy with another. Yeah, yeah. they'll find a new Hootie. Just like back Although, in the old days. Darius Rucker is not actually Hootie. There is no Hootie. Oh really? Him. I thought he was Hootie. But he does. I know. That's what everyone thinks. The, the guitar yeah. was named Hootie, right, or something. Yeah. And then uh, yeah. Hootie, how about how about Dave Matthews Band, huh? Where, what's he up to yeah. these days? They're probably teaming up with uh, someone from way back when, too, and going on tour. Can you imagine yeah. the combo Dave Matthews Band and Hootie and the Blowfish? I mean, I think the 90s would explode. Yeah. We would go back in well, time, I, I saw, think. I just saw Train with Goo Goo Dolls. That's kind of the yeah, same Jeez, deal. Jeez, good God. Who knew all these shitty bands from my uh, teenage years <laughs> would be coming back and haunting me? Yeah. Hey, God. I'm seeing later this summer at Hollywood Bowl, I'm seeing Heart with Joan Jett. So there you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Not. I'm sure tickets are kind of easy for that one, huh? And I'm seeing Stray Cats, the 40th anniversary of their big success. They're they're back together too. So. Uh, was that like a uh, a comedy troupe uh, from the actors who could not get into the Cats play, the Andrew Lloyd sure. Webber yeah. Cats play, Stray Cats? Hey, they were big in the MTV day. So. <laughs> I don't, I probably would recognize one of their songs, but Stray Cats, I don't remember them offhand. Yeah. But uh, Stray Cats strut. Gene, this is not. Mix, well, sorry about that. This is Go not ahead. mixtape 1993. Okay. This is the Midwest Sports Show, Gene. Gene sports Show. Gene. Yeah. And uh, we're yeah. going to start off with, I think, I, you know, other than football, probably my favorite sport, I'm going to say baseball. Yes, love it. Such a beautiful sport. You know, yeah. Gene, we don't have these whistles. You know, the NBA just finished. We don't have these whistles. No fouls. Right. No flags. Everyone's talking about pass interference for the NFL and how it's going to ruin the game. No, no pass interference in uh, Major League Baseball. No. Yeah. No. Just you throw the ball, you catch yeah. the ball, and you hit the ball, and that's it. Enjoy the beautiful outdoors. However, yeah. if we're one of these young piss babies that seems Uh-oh. to be running rampant in the league these days. Uh, baseball is not the greatest thing in the world. It seems like it's a minor inconvenience for cashing those million dollar checks every single week. Uh And the Brewers played the San Diego Padres, uh, this past weekend. I think they lost two out of three. Maybe they got swept even. Yeah. The Brewers, they had a rough West coast. The West coast is tough. Yeah. Well, you guys, uh, the Brewers had a tough West Coast trip. Well, Braun and Yelich, you know, they're California boys. I think Eric Thames is from California too. I think they, uh, I think they know too many good spots to uh, party at at night. And I think uh, the rest of the Brewers go out with them, and then I don't think it's a good experience 
Um, or maybe the games are just sold. Gee, these games start at 7 p.m. on the West Coast, yeah. you know? I mean, that's, that's 9 p.m. Yeah. In Wisconsin, in the Midwest. I mean, these guys should be half asleep by now, right? I mean, how are you supposed to keep them up? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you know, they always have to wake up for the game. It's two hours earlier to wake up. So, yeah, not good. Uh, but, Gene, speaking about the uh, the San Diego Padres, um, Manny Machado. Remember Manny Machado, Gene? Hi, uh, he's the guy I'm glad the Cubs didn't sign. That <laughs> Manny Machado. Well, you know, uh, have you Fred heard? Harper, you have you heard anything Machado. about Manny Machado other than bad things? I mean, have you not really? Heard, have you heard no. about his hitting streak or his home runs or his? Uh, no, he's been stolen pretty bases? tight. Yeah, no, I I heard he's he's better lately, but I don't know. I yeah. Well, he's doing better than Bryce Harper, but that's not saying much. Oh. Well, who knows? But uh, the other day, and I don't, I don't remember what, who they're actually playing. I think they're playing the Mets, but maybe that's just because it's in my mind. But the San Diego Padres were playing some team before the Brewers, and Manny Machado did not appreciate a strike call. Oh, ag- oh I him. saw that. Yeah. And I thought, I mean, Gene, I, I, I see everyone arguing strikes these days. I thought arguing strikes and balls got you thrown out. I think we were giving yeah, way too much leeway to these players. So he got very upset. It was a high uh, pressure situation. You know, you're going to get upset if you get a wrong call. And also, I think what's driving these guys mad, crazy, is these catchers. All of these catchers are so good at framing the pitch these days. And I think the uh, the players are all like, hey, dude, <laughs> this pitcher is framing the shit out of this thing that was way down in the zone and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, Manny Machado did not appreciate it. He threw the bat. He threw the bat against the uh, backstop. Right. Because uh, he uh, did not appreciate the call. You ever seen a little kid throw their, you know, they, their favorite toy, they throw yeah. it down and break it because they're upset? Mm-hmm. Looked a lot like Manny Machado right there. Yeah. Poor B. Wilson Contreras did the same thing last night in the Cubs game. Yeah. He he got mad at the Atlanta catcher for framing pitches, and then he kind of hit a home run and kind of threw a tantrum. Yeah, well, he, he hit a home run. We'll just jump to that really quick. So he he, he had got a strike, and then right. uh, and then I think that the the Braves catcher like actually said something to him or something like that, right? Before he yeah. hit the home run. Oh well, yeah, because uh, Wilson bitched about the that pitch because he said he got it was a strike call because Flowers was framing the pitches, right, right. which that's what all, isn't that what catchers are supposed to do? And then he hits a home run, and then he suddenly. He, he turns around and yells at Flower. He's yelling at the catcher. I think I think and he said then, something about f you, f you, yeah, know, something about that. Right. How do you like that? Yeah. Something like that. Round the bases, and then uh, Braves catcher was not having it and was about to confront him at home base, and uh, kind of started. Well, not really a brawl, but just uh, kind of brought some people out from the dugouts. And uh, Gene, I mean, what, do, what don't the umpires want all this stuff to just go away? And let's bring out the robotic pitch count. Bring it out. Let's let's bring be it, done with this. I'm I'm ready to be done with it for sure. Yeah, why not? We're heading that way anyway, aren't we? Does anyone, you know, over the past five years of having the strike zone on the TV, does anyone like not want this now anymore? Are, are we not confident in the technology? I, uh, we're not we're not quite there yet for some reason. Well, they first they got to figure out the netting first, and then they'll I guess they'll turn to this one afterwards. I mean, are the umpires afraid that you know once they realize they don't have to call balls and strikes, so we'll, we'll get rid of rid of one umpire in the field, and they're going to be out of a job? I mean, what what what's the holdup here? Is it the umpires union? And by the way, the uh, the Major League Baseball suspended Machado only one game. And I think, oh, okay. and the umpires union actually uh, protested that, and mm-hmm. saying he was very disrespectful to the umpire. And I don't know, you know, Deadspin typically, I don't know. They uh, they said the umpires were not right, not not correct here, and said these wow. uh, umpires are a bunch of babies. I, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's the umpire is trying to do his job. I mean, the umpire doesn't have a bat. The umpire is not getting paid twenty million dollars a year, and uh, you know, again. He's just trying to do his job. Manny Machado is going to create a scene, right? You know? Yes. It's like, get fucked, Manny. Get fucked. All right. Let's let it go, Manny Machado. Any, t- any way to just shit on Manny Machado here uh, on the Midwest Sports Show. All right. And then the uh, 
Seattle with their con with their contract. So him and Bryce, but no, thank you. Right. Yep. Yep. All right. So then the we'll move along. We got to go quick here. Uh, do you, by the way, do you have a hard out at six thirty, or can you wait six forty five? Yeah, whatever. Six forty-five. All right, we'll make sure we get done in um, yeah, sure. twenty minutes. That's good. All right, so then the Brewers played the Reds. The Reds came to Milwaukee, and the Reds won three out of four. No, no, actually they split two out of two, right? But the, man, the Reds were looking good. Didn't the Reds just sweep the it's Cubs funny. or something? It, no, yeah, the Reds swept the Cubs in Cincinnati. I yeah. think it was they swept them. And also, the Reds are only five and a half games out, and yet, do you know the run differential? Uh, I saw this last night. They, theirs is much better than uh, the, the Brewers, actually. They've scored more They're runs, good. you mean? Yeah, so. scored more runs and given up. That's well, it. those two games that they won, I mean, they scored like 11 and 12 runs. And all those other other games that they lost, I and mean, they still scored like seven or five. So they got a good offense, and they got a bunch of young, good pitchers, too. So I can see uh, Reds being really good. When you draft way up high every year, so... <laughs> Yeah. Right. Yeah. But they're pretty good. They're. I think they're. I think. Ooh. I think the Cubs got to go in there next week, maybe. But they're. They're really good. Joey Votto. Joey Votto. Well, yeah. Joey Votto's trying to warm up finally, and then uh, Scooty Jeanette's not even back in the game. So, when he gets back, oh, they're gonna be I, kind of dangerous. Kind of. And Puig. Puig. Who cares about Puig, right? All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then the Cubs played. The Mets, mm-hmm. and it was a disaster. It was two no, one. Split. It was ugly. Oh, it was a two game or was it a? F- it was four games. Four games. All right, yeah, that was three. But all right, and then at one point, uh, the Mets manager, like, what's this guy's name, Callaway or something like that, or Call- uh, Mickey Callaway. Mickey Callaway sounds like a uh, character name from The Godfather or something like that, or a Goodfellas. Not not a MLB pitcher or right, manager. He, he might have a- might have a bright it sounds like he's gonna get fired any day but it hasn't happened yeah. yet but he's gone. well then yeah. you just burn the place down gene you burn city park down you collect the insurance money no uh anyways uh him and his pitcher who had a fairly poor game after the game threatened a reporter calling yeah. him a quote-unquote motherfucker Whoa. and, and Whoa. would not take questions until he left the press yeah. conference. Yeah. Um, All right. Hey, man, I mean, what – isn't it fun to answer these questions? I mean, I mean, that's – what is going on, Gene? Like, what? These guys can't answer a question? Hey, you suck. Yeah. You can't answer any questions? They, the press – it was – it was all over. He just uh, the reporter was just leaving, and he said, "See you tomorrow, Mickey," because he follows the Mets. He goes to all the games. Obviously, he's their beat reporter, and yeah. that's that caused problems. I guess being nice to the manager, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, who's the uh, who's the who's the manager for the uh, D- Dave? Uh, who's the manager for the Dodgers? Dave freaking. Oh. Yeah, Davey Roberts. Yeah, Davey Roberts. He likes talking to the uh, the press because they're winning. No, no. Yeah. So, so Mickey, uh, I'll tell you what. Maybe you should start winning, and you right, won't have to answer right. these questions. We'll get some of these softball questions like, how good does it feel to be in first place? Like, those are the type yeah. of questions David Roberts gets. You yeah. Know? It's a disaster. Everything the Mets do, I don't know what's wrong with them, but it's pretty ugly. I'm just glad we have Joe Madden. And you guys uh, got a good man. Yep. All right. D- right? D- Don Joe is Madden. Don is asking why are you two separated tonight? It's because Gene uh, is going to go see Hootie and the Blowfish. Yeah, I'm. I have to go to the Hollywood Bowl right after this. Uh, we're we're only about three miles apart, but that that could be hours in traffic. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm going. To, I'm going to see Hootie and the Blowfish tonight. Yep. Back together. There you go. All right, and then uh, so how the Cubs, Gene? Just give us an update really quick on the Cubs, because all I have is that Mets stuff. Bad for about they've been bad for about a month, but luckily the the whole the Brewers have struggled too in St. Louis, but they they're okay. I mean nothing. They haven't really done much lately. So yep. Who are they playing yeah. this week? Do you know? Oh, they they're playing Atlanta right now. Oh, okay. Tough. Atlanta's tough. Tough team. Yeah, and then and then they go on the road again. Wow. All right. Yeah, everyone's uh, strike. Well, you know, the Brewers, uh, they lost like five games in a row. Uh, but hopefully they um, 
hopefully they righted the ship. So, uh, yeah, everyone. Yeah. You lose any ground because the Cubs are terrible, too, during yeah. that time. Yeah, everyone lost a bunch of games um, this past week for the NL Central. All right. So, moving over to the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Oh, my God. Uh, the big news there is uh, uh, injury. Yeah. Felt as sadly as it is inevitable as it is disappointing. St. Louis Cardinal closer Jordan Hicks is likely out for a long-term future as the team announced today that he tore his UCL. That's not yeah. Upright Citizens Brigade, Gene. That's not UCB. That's a UCL. All right. Yeah. And his throwing elbow, right throwing elbow. The Cardinals right. said they are determining the next course of action for Hicks, but oftentimes this injury leads to Tommy John surgery. Um, yeah. This guy was throwing 104 miles per hour. I think he had like the top four of the top five. I don't know who that was. He's a young guy too, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it's his second year or something. That's going to hurt. Oh, my gosh. That's going to hurt the Cardinals for sure. Can't you? Want it? Listen, I, I know it's impressive to throw 104, but, I mean, as a manager, can't you be like, yo, hey, buddy, uh, slow down a little bit? People have trouble hitting 100, okay? <laughs> but how's, how's he not going to get hurt going like that? Yeah, obviously. Exactly. And how long? I mean, what was his innings? What was his pitch count? A lot of questions here. A lot of questions. All right. Mm, not good. Sometimes, you know, uh, sometimes, Gene, you got to save yeah. the players from themselves. Okay. There you go. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, uh, Kevin Durant, right? That's what the Warriors yeah. did. They saved him from himself. Uh, not really. <laughs> they saved oh. them. They said they, they did they make him sign a waiver before he got on the, the court, I think probably. Yeah, you're fine, Kevin. Uh, just sign this really quick. It will be good. We'll be good. Yeah. All right. Well, Gene, but going back to Hicks, he tore his UCL. But Gene, hey, there's a silver lining to this cloud. He tore it the Cardinal way. Okay. Uh -oh, he nice. tore his UCL the Cardinal. It was the Cardinal way, Gene. Okay. Right, right. Right. Hey, they got he had a great weekend. I mean, the way they treated Albert Pujols, they got a lot of good press. It seemed like they were the great thing, and then and then they get this. So did, did oh, he well. he hit a home run against them, right, or something? Yeah, I think I think he might have hit two. Okay, not sure, but... like the only two home runs he's hit in like in five years. So yeah, um, he's pretty rough, or maybe only hit one. But and... yeah, they were really they were really oh. nice to him. It was pretty funny if you follow the uh, best fans in baseball uh, Twitter feed. Um, yeah. he, the guy basically retweeted a bunch of people saying like how great it was to see like Pujols back and this is why we're the best fans in baseball and all that stuff. And then he immediately tweeted a bunch of tweets about uh, I, I think it was the same accounts, the same people that said the nice things about Albert Pujols about how he was a traitor, how he's going to suck, and how he blah blah blah. We don't need him and all this stuff. So it was uh, pretty immaculate. I would say. So yeah. And by the way, when they say trader, they're spelling it T R A D E R. Trade like a trade, not yeah. traitor, not T R A I T O R. Right? It's pretty. I, that's I, that gets me every time. Trader. It's not. It's not the same thing. Okay. All right. And this is not necessarily, uh, you know, Midwest sports news, but I feel like uh, Montreal is like the Midwest of Canada. Not My really gosh. though. No. Yeah, I think they're near. Oh, I was going to say, they're, aren't they near New York? Yeah, a little mm, bit. They're by, or that's Toronto's by, oh, Toronto's by Niagara Falls. I'm not sure. Yeah. Montreal's, I've been there, so. You've been to Montreal? Not, I've been to Montreal. Wow. But it's a long time ago. For the, yeah, com for, I've been to, for the comedy festival or just for work or just what? Oh, when I was in drum corps, marching band, oh, okay. drum corps. We played there. We played at uh, Olympic Stadium. Did you play in, El, did you play Alueta? <laughs> uh, you I learned the... from the kids. I was really young back then. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Well, Gene, uh, the Tampa Bay Rays. Why are we talking about Montreal? Well, the Tampa Bay Rays. Oh, Bay Rays. Right. Have what are they up to? Have received Major League Baseball's permission to explore becoming a two-city team, the Tampa Bay area and Montreal. Sources tell you, man. The plan: play early season home games in the Tampa Bay area and finish this season in Montreal. So what's the plan here? Is it to fail in two cities in the same season or to attract 10,000 fans in two separate seasons, two separate cities? I mean, what what's what's going on here? That sounds like a good plan. Why don't you just two, go? Two, you couldn't find two more uh, fan bases that care less, yeah. really. I mean, Montreal, that was kind of a disaster. Yeah. 
I mean, there, there's like a minor league team in Montreal, right? I mean, are they drawing crowds or what? I, I don't know. I don't know. I know they had, yeah, what, I'm not sure what's what, on up there. What's the marketing research that we're doing here? And, Gene, you know, the Rays, from the yeah. Rays, you know, fr- from Tampa. First of all, Tampa Bay. There's no Tampa Bay. It's Tampa. So, right. you know, you, you, get, you got the Rays in Tampa, and then you got, uh, uh, you know, Quebec, Montreal, where everyone smells like fish. So there's a nice... Nice symmetry there. Because they're French and they don't wear deodorant, all right? Do people still remember that joke? Is that still a thing? <laughs> I think so. Don't the women, do some of them, they don't shave? And... I, yeah, I think so. I don't know. Well, they're feminists, you know? New wave yeah, feminists. Oh, I, okay. That makes sense, certainly. Yep. Um, all right. By the way, Gene, can you imagine like being like a caveman and stuff and then rolling over and your wife is just a fucking hairy as shit? It's got hairy armpits. How do we ever no. evolve? How do we ever pass on our genes? I don't know. <laughs> I I I I would have a hard time with that one. Yeah. Not that I'm Good uh, God, Gene. anywhere near. Listen, Gene. There's be... there's a lot of reasons why I'm glad I'm not a woman. Yeah. But probably shaving your armpits probably number not, uh, probably high, top top three, I think. Right. Yes, of course. I mean, I hate yeah. sh- I hate shaving my face. Can you imagine shaving your goddamn armpits every goddamn day? Jesus. No. God, no. You, women, you go through a lot. Women are the best. Yeah, well, though, I if they were technically the best, I guess I would have married one. But okay, so they're they're very cool. Love them. <laughs> there you go. All right, there you go. Well, I mean, you, I love. Them, but like, not enough to be. Not, not enough to be in a relationship with one, right? Well, you at just this moment. you just haven't met the right one. I just I've met several of them. I think I'm I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I got All it. Right. I'm fine. Well, Gene, we're gonna move over to the Chicago Bears. The one oh, story. Oh my gosh, counting down. Hey, tickets, bad Bears Packers. That looks like a tough ticket. So hopefully, I keep hoping prices will drop, but not so far. Not so lucky, huh? All right. No, well, Gene, yet. Matt Nagy. Show. Oh, how's he doing? Well, we're hearing reports that Matt Nagy shows Bears players clips of the playoff loss from last year so that they, ne- right. quote-unquote, never forget the hurt. hurt. Um, Gene, I think uh, Matt Nagy might be psychotic. <laughs> and yeah. I, you know, this is like the thing where the mom – is always talking about food, and then it creates an eating disorder in her daughter. You know, like, yeah. uh, I mean, Gene is is Robbie Gould is is he going to be uh, Matt Nagy's rosebud, or what? Is he just be muttering rosebud bud on his Robbie Gould on his deathbed, it, or what? <laughs> I know the Bears had him, and uh, wow, what karma! And they're just, and he doesn't want to go back to the 49ers, but I don't know. Uh, well, just tell him that John Fox a, isn't there anymore and you should come back, right? Right, right. Yeah. And then, Gene, I, you well, know. He's under contract, so oh. it's going to be tough. Gene, even, uh, you know, even Scott Norwood is telling uh, Matt to chill out on these fucking kickers, you know? And, uh,. <laughs> Gene, I I uh, I fully expect this to be like a thing. Like this is going to be a thing for the uh, Chicago right. season. He is so obsessing over this playoff loss, like no one's ever lost a game before. You know, yeah, and and this whole uh, kicker thing's been a disaster this whole off season. So I, I I'm guessing something terrible is going to happen to him. This is on yeah. opening. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna like be less than fifty percent this year. I mean, there's no way you can make such a big deal out of this crap. And not have like an issue. This is gonna consume the Bears season this year. I promise you. And they're gonna, and then you know when they're like, uh, they're gonna be like two and three early in the season. And they're gonna be kicking, you know, for to win the game. And then everyone's gonna be thinking, oh, the kicker, the kicker, the kicker, the kicker. And they're gonna lose, Gene. I, I'm I'm guessing four and eight. I mean, they're they're really they're really set up for a letdown. They Actually, are. But, Four and twelve. Yeah. Nah, I'm gonna say six, six. No, six and eight. Right? Is that right? Fourteen? Well, no, no, no. Six yeah, six and ten. I'm, I'm guessing like that. They're gonna. Well, mm, they're making we'll weight. See. He's, he's going crazy, man. I, I, I bet the players are all like, man, this guy's nuts. This guy's crazy. All yeah. right. Okay. 
All right, there you go, Gene. That's the Bears talk. All right, and then we're going to finish off with hoops. Where the NBA awards were last night, or maybe was this two nights ago? I did not watch. I I found out about it today, but thank goodness they they did the right thing. Well, it ain't exactly the Oscars, Gene. So uh, yeah, I didn't even know this was on. Where was this the on the NBA channel or something like that? Yeah, I, yeah, that part I don't know. And who? who I, I, yeah, I'm not sure. Who was the host? Um, mm, and not... Hathaway or what? <laughs> Her and James Franco. Fran, yeah, Remember Franco. Them? James yeah. Franco. Yeah. Um. Uh, I guess the big news, of course, is Giannis wins the MVP. Milwaukee Bucks. No surprise there. Great, great, great. Nice Stick it to Harden. The way Harden does it. No thanks. That ain't getting you nowhere. Giannis is going to be a champion, hopefully next year. Someone made a pretty funny joke where uh, Giannis. I think it was uh, cousin Sal Alex. Al- Alex. Uh, <laughs> What am I saying? I think it was cousin Sal actually, where Giannis, oh. where Gian, she said Giannis was crying. Giannis cries more when he gets the statue as opposed to Harding crying when he gets touched on the basketball court or something like that. Yeah, good, good yeah. retelling of the joke there, Chris. All right, there you go. That's that's why you don't like repeat people's jokes. But I saw I saw the highlights. He was very emotional. It was great because yeah. he's talking about his mom. His mom was there and. She was his hero and uh, well, all that mom stuff people say, but it was pretty cool. He he seemed very sincere. So. Well, this kid was hustling in the streets of Athens, selling crap to tourists to survive, and now he's like the best player in the NBA. I mean, what a story, right? What a great story. And he's in Milwaukee, so yep. please win, Fox, and please don't <laughs> let him. Win. Yep. I I'll hopefully they get, hopefully they be able to keep him. And then uh, Bodenheiser, or whatever this guy's name, won Coach of the Year. Yeah, the Bucks guy. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, this vote was taken before Game Six of that Toronto series. So uh, yeah, I, call me crazy. I mean, the 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 Toronto coach should have, been, should have been the MVP, right, or the Coach of the Year. And that's a good point because remember, in the, when the playoffs were going on, Milwaukee was a big favorite over Toronto. Yeah, yeah and people thought yeah. they were going to sweep the and Raptors. The Raptors. Won the first two games. Yeah, they, everyone and was going to say, yeah. yeah. A big choke. Hey, maybe uh, they should get Matt Nagy to, uh, you know, give a speech to the uh, Bucks. Maybe maybe inspire yeah. them, right? Yeah. Maybe replay game six over and over again. I'm sure that's really good for everyone's psyche, huh? Let's do that. <laughs> all right. Mm. All right, well, Gene, that's all I got. It's a short week. We only got good baseball job. going on, so. Yeah. Oh, I'm seeing after tonight, I'm going to see Eddie Izzard. You know him? Yeah. He's a comic. Yeah. I think he's from England. Or I don't know where he's from. But I'm seeing him at the Dolby Theater this week as well. And then the ABBA tribute. ABBA. Okay. Remember them? Yep. Yeah, at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. Well, Gene, you're and in. Then I'm seeing, uh, yeah, then I'm seeing Phantom of the Opera again. Jeez. It's very busy. Yeah, yeah you've... Uh... Living that entertainment life, Gene. You should be like have your own media column, right? Just yeah, Gene Steichen yeah, about I, town. I could never be critical though. It's I, I love it. It's all awesome, okay. I know awesome. you'd be like this. This uh, this column is sponsored by ABBA. Yeah, you'd be promotion. Well, when, you basically. Money, when you spend enough money on tickets, you just it's the same thing. When you go to movies, you spend a lot of money. Oh, I love it. It's so great. You know, you just that <laughs> way you yourself. feel you don't feel bad about yep. spending money. Yep. All right, Gene, well, you uh, need to go, and uh, you have a destination with Hootie. I do. Hootie and the Blowfish. Very much looking forward to it. That's pretty cool. That Because I, I love their their music. was great. And it's been 25 years, and they and it's good they got back together. Whatever, you know. Oh, Hootie or happens. Jerry Spock has been doing his own thing in country music. So it'd be pretty yep. cool. I, lo- I love when these guys are like, man, why am I splitting these paychecks with five other guys? I can just do all this shit. I'm Hootie. He's like, I'm Hootie. Now these fuckers. Right. You know? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm Hootie. I'm Hootie. All right. Mm. All right, Gene. I think that will be it. I think we're going to end it right there. So uh, thanks for everyone for watching and listening. And please share it on the old Facebook. And, uh, yeah, all that stuff. So I think I'm going to get the music going. Let's see. Is it going? Oh, Yep, we got the music back. Is it going? All right, there you go. All right, so for Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Dotz. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. See you guys next week.
Have a great week, everybody.